everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix Microsoft IPP class driver missing on Windows 11. The first solution you should consider is to run the printer troubleshooter. Press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, then make sure to select system on the left pane and then on the right pane select the troubleshoot option. In here select the other troubleshooters option and afterwards you have to find the printer option and simply click on the run button right by its side. Now the system will identify and solve any problems with your printers. Another useful solution is to remove and reinstall the printer. Firstly you have to remove the printer. Just click on the start button then choose the settings icon and in here make sure to select Bluetooth and devices from the left pane and then click on printers and scanners from the right pane. Now select your printer and after just click on the remove option. Now that your printer is removed you just have to reinstall it. So go back and in here click on the add device button. If the printer is connected properly it should be detected. But if not you can click on the add manually button. As you can see in here you have plenty of options so I will not go through all of them but make sure to click on the one you think fits best your printer. But the most obvious solution is to select the last option which relates to the local printer. In here you'll have the option to choose a printer port so select one from the drop down menu. And then in the following window make sure to select the printer brand and model and then hit next. If you can't find it click the windows update button and in a few minutes the list will be populated with a lot of other printer brands and models. But if you already have the driver select the have disk button. Afterwards click the finish button after installing the driver. Another useful solution is to get the latest drivers from the printer's manufacturer's website. So basically you just have to find out what model of printer you have and then access the manufacturer's website. In my case I will use the HP download center. In here you have to find the model number that you have for your printer. In my case it's in this list and then you have to find the drivers in the software and installers and download them. Lastly just install the drivers and the printer should now work properly. You can also enable the internet printing client. To do this press the windows button then type control panel and select it from the search results. In here make sure to select the programs section. Then under programs and features select the turn windows features on or off. In the following window make sure to find the print and document services option and expand it. Now make sure that the internet printing client option is checked and if it's not just check the box next to it. And the last solution is to clear the spooler and restart the service. To do this press the windows button then type services and select it from the search results. In here find the print spooler service and double click it. Then in the properties window select the stop button and then press ok. Now you have to navigate to the following location on your PC. See windows system 32 spool and printers. In here make sure you have the right administrative privileges to access the folder. And in the following folder if there are any files simply delete them. In my case the folder is empty but you may find some files or folders in here. Now you just have to go back to the services option and you can do this by pressing the windows button, typing services and selecting it from the search results. Find again the print spooler and double click it. Now press on the start button to start the service and make sure that the startup type is set to automatic in the drop down list. Now click on apply and then ok. And that was it. Plenty of options to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.